Ezra Venechamnya, Ezra 3. And when the seventh month was come, and the children of Yashadael were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one man to Yaru Shalaim. Then stood up Yahusha, the son of Yahut Sadach, and his brethren, the priests, and Zerub Bavel, the son of Shealtiel, and his brethren, and built at the altar of the Elohim of Yashadael to offer burnt offerings thereon, as it is written in the Torah of Moshe, the man of Elohim. And they set the altar upon his bases, for fear was upon them because of the people of those countries, and they offered burnt offerings thereon unto Yahweh, even burnt offerings morning and evening. They kept also at the feast of Kukoth, as it is written, and offered the daily burnt offerings by number, according to their cust to the custom, as the duty of every day required, and afterward offered the continual burnt offering, both of the new moons and of all the set feasts of Yahweh that were consecrated and of every one that willingly offered a free will offering unto Yahweh. From the first day of the seventh month began they to offer burnt offerings unto Yahweh. But the foundation of the temple of Yahweh is not yet laid. They gave money also unto the masons, unto the carpenters, and meat, and drink, and oil, unto them of Sidon, and to them of Sor, to bring cedar trees, rather, to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the Sea of Yepho, according to the grant that they had of Koresh, king of Persia. Now in the second year of their coming unto the house of Elohim at Yerushalayim, in the second month began Zerubbabel, the son of Shaleatil El, and Yahusha, the son of Yahut Sadach, and the remnant of their brethren, the priests, and the Leviim. And all they that were come out of the captivity unto Yerushalayim, and appointed at the Leviim from twenty years old and upward, to set forward the work of the house of Yahweh. Then stood Yahshua with his sons and his brethren, Kadmiel and his sons, the sons of Yahuda, together, to set forward the workmen in the house of Elohim, the sons of Hanadad, with their sons and their brethren, in rather, their brethren, the Leviim. And when the builders laid at the foundation of the temple of Yahweh, they set the priests in their apparel with trumpets. And the Leviim, the sons of Echaf, with cymbals, to praise at Yahweh, after the ordinance of David, king of Yahshadael. And they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto Yahweh, because he is good, for his mercy endures forever toward Yahshadael. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised Yahweh because the foundation of the house of Yahuwah was laid. But many of the priests and Leviim and chief of the fathers, who were ancient men that had seen at the first house when the foundation of this house was laid before their eyes, wept with a loud voice, and many shouted aloud for joy. so that the people could not discern the noise of the shout of joy from the noise of the weeping of the people. For the people shouted with a loud shout, and the noise was heard 
afar off. 